Lesson 6 is about equivalent fractions and decimals. So we're going to be doing writing fractions as decimals, using mental math to write fractions as decimals then, and then writing decimals as fractions. First thing we're going to do for writing fractions is decimals. So that's what it asks us to do here. It says write each fraction as a decimal, round to the nearest hundredth if necessary. Here we have 3 divided by 4. And that's what I, I said that on purpose because fractions are an unfinished division problem. And I want you to think about that. I'm going to say that a lot this year. So turning fractions into decimals is really easy. You just divide. Here we have 3 divided by 4. So let's solve that. 3 divided by 4. That's 0 0.75. And that's all it takes. 0 0.75. Make sure it is rounded to the nearest hundredth. This is the tenths place. That's the hundredths place. So we are good. How about this one? 6 divided by 5. 1.2. And there we have it. This is the tenths place, so we don't need to round it all either. Lastly, we have one third. So that's 1 divided by 3. And this one we'll have to round. 0 0.33 if we're rounding to the nearest hundredth. If we weren't rounding, we'd go like this. 0 0.3 with a line over it. But since we're doing to the nearest hundredth, we'll do 0 0.33. Now we're going to use mental math to write fractions as decimals as well. And this is really important for you to understand how this works. Why is a fraction very equivalent to a decimal? And how they want you to solve this is they want you to turn the denominator into a power of 10. So we have an example here. We have 2 divided by 5. How can we turn this 5 into a power of 10? Well, if we multiply 5 times 2, that would make it 10, correct? So if we multiply the top times 2, the numerator, that would give us 4 tenths. And listen to the way I say that, 4 tenths. If you write this as a decimal, 0 0.4, 4 in the tenths place would be 0.4 tenths. Um, 0 0.4 is 4 tenths. Let's do it this way down at the 25. We know that 25 times 4 gets us to 100. If you have 4 quarters, that gives you a dollar, right? So times 4, and we'll do the same thing up here, times 4 up here. So that gives us 28. 25 times 4 then would be 100. If we're going to write this as a decimal then, this is 28 hundredths, 28 over 100, 28 hundredths. So if we're going to write that as a decimal, 0 0.28, 28 hundredths. See how that works? Is a hundredths place now, so 28 hundredths would be the answer. Now we're going to be writing decimals as fractions. And I have this chart up here to help us. Anything to the left of the decimal is called a ones place, or it's the whole numbers. The tenths come after that, after the decimal. The hundredths are after that, and then the thousandths are the third place, and the ten thousandths are the fourth place. To turn this decimal into a fraction, we find the whole number that is furthest to the right and find that place. So we have a six here, and that's the third spot, which would be the thousandths, right? So we have 36 thousandths. So you write that over a thousand. You're not done here. We need to simplify it in simplest form. We know that these can both be divided by two, so that would be 18 over 500. They're both even numbers, so they could still be divided by 2, so it would be 9 over 250. 250 can't be divided by 3 because 2 plus 5 is 7. Um, this looks like this is the simplest we can get it. So 9 over 250 would be our simplest form there. Now we have 1.28. Uh, whenever you have a 1 to the left of the decimal, you can just leave that 1 there. So it's, it's, it's 1 already, and then what is the fraction that goes with it? We have 28 and then the 8 is in the hundreds place, so that would be 28, 100. We're not done yet, though. Remember, we need to simplify this. Well, they can both be divided by 2, so that would be 14 over 50. They can be divided both by 2 again, so that would be 7 over 25. Um, so if we're going to write this answer, we're going to do the 1 in the whole, play, whole number place, and then 7 over 25 would be our fraction for that. So 1.28 turns into 1 and 7 25ths.